every day, thousands of Arizona kids will head off for school. Some will have a test to take. It won't be your typical test of reading, writing, math, or science. It'll be a test of willpower, of resolve, of courage, as it relates to things like drugs and alcohol, suicide and depression, eating disorders and bullying. I know this because I work with a prevention education program called Not My Kid. We're a unique program in that we're, we teach kids, parents, and faculty in middle schools and high schools all across the valley. We use peer-to-peer -peer education to speak to kids. We employ 40 young men and women who have struggled through one or more of these issues, and they share their real life story. They share their stories for one reason. They don't want any of these kids to go down the same path that they did. They don't want a single one of these kids to ever feel so lonely that they believe that suicide is their only option, like they did. They don't want any of these kids away from their families living on the streets or in prison, like they did. And that's why they share their stories, and it is so impactful. After every presentation, students that are struggling feel connected with that speaker, and for the first time, stand up and ask for help. Hundreds of kids have been taken to teachers and counselors by our speakers. We educate parents and faculty on these same behavioral issues so that they'll more readily recognize the signs and symptoms of these behaviors and be able to act quickly when a child needs help. We had a woman who'd gone to one of our parent presentations. She listened to a young woman share her story of her eating disorder. The woman was moved by the story, but she was also educated because at that moment, she realized that she might have a problem in her own home. So that evening, she was empowered to sit down with her daughter and ask some tough questions. And yes, she found out that her 15-year-old daughter, Chelsea, was suffering from an eating disorder. Chelsea had bulimia. The woman called Not My Kid the next day and asked for help and for hope. She'd been educated. I am so proud to say that Not My Kid will be in over 150 schools this year offering much needed prevention education. But there are still so many schools out there that need our programs. And that's where we need your support. With an investment of $25,000, we can provide programs to 10 schools, reach 12,500 people, at a cost of $2.96. $2.96. And I know the programs work. I know they do. My name is Jill Woods, and today I'm the executive director of Not My Kid. But seven years ago, I was the mom at the meeting, and it was my kid. Chelsea's our daughter. I'm happy to say she'll be graduating from college in May. She's healthy, and we're all happy. We're also 100% committed to Not My Kid, though, because we know what that education meant to our family. And tonight, I'm asking for your commitment as well. Thank you.